Well, in some more good news for society and for culture, a woman who has been paralysed for 20 years has now been able to use a computer using just her mind. This is thanks to Elon Musk's Neuralink. Check it out. Imagine the joy of connecting with your loved ones, browsing the web, or even playing games using only your thoughts. This is made possible by placing a small, cosmetically invisible implant in a part of your brain that plans movements. The device is designed to interpret your neural activity so you can operate a computer or a smartphone by simply thinking about moving. No wires or physical movement are required. This is truly revolutionary for people who are paralyzed or quadriplegic like this woman. It is giving them new agency and freedom that they never thought they would get back. But there are also a range of other interesting implications from this technology. They think it can slow down degenerative brain disorders like wow. motor neuron disease because it can stimulate brain uh, reactions and connectivity between neurons wow. that was previously lost. Uh, it can bring back vision even. It's, and it can also have really interesting benefits for mental health because they think it will actually be able to modulate brain activity during depressive episodes or for schizophrenic people. So this truly is, I mean, talk about the next revolution in medical technology. I'm super excited for this and it sounds like they'll be commercially available in around 15 years so we can all get our implants. It's well, just absolutely <laughs> mind blowing. And to give you an idea Well, it could of, be literally mind blowing. Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely <laughs> right. But the, 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 the scale of the breakthrough is mm. just so phenomenal. I mean, my wife hasn't been able to use a computer for 20 years and she's not <laughs> paralysed at all. She's so you're sending just, her off for the, the Neuralink chips so yeah, you can have to show Does it work on just like normal women <laughs> as well? <laughs> but, but this is the thing. You, is, we joke about that, but that's where this is going to end mm. up. And, and I, I know all of this at the moment is being couched in terms of for medical purposes and, and you know, I, I think... From that perspective, it's great because it can clearly give life back to people who've not... Well, you know, not literally, but it can give a quality of life to mm. people who've not been able to have it for a long time. I think it's, you know, the equivalent of, like, a cochlear implant um, just for, you know, neural things as opposed to hearing, which is great. I'm totally on board with that. But Elon Musk makes no qualms about the fact that he basically eventually wants to integrate humans and technology Cyborgs. as one. Yeah. And, and so we'll get to a point where this stuff is commercially available and any Tom, Dick or Harry can say, I want the brain chip, thanks. And if we can talk about this stuff being used to modulate brain activity for the purposes of mental health, imagine what can be done to you, your brain, which controls everything in and around your body, if someone manages to hack into brain chips and, and start doing stuff with people's brains. I, I, I don't want someone being able to remotely access anything in my brain whatsoever. If I'm paralysed, I'll take the risk. <laughs> but otherwise, <laughs> I don't want that. I do not want yeah, that. Yeah, but you can, you can always come up with a downside scenario for these things. But it's a there is serious downside. It is, but know. there's also some massive upside. And you think about the trajectory of technology development. It started with computers in yeah. rooms that you yeah. had to go visit. Yeah. Then it was yeah. desktops that you couldn't move. Then it became the mobile phone. Well, now we can have it with us. Now we've got Apple Watches and wearable technology. Mm -hmm. This is the next step forward in that but gradual in integration of, of, of technology but, and people. But, but in but all of those, there is a level of removal from the actual being. So if something gets hacked or something goes wrong, you can take off the smartwatch. You can put the... Mm -hmm. the no, no, but, there were, but you can just take this out. There were people who said, you know, if, if we have computers that can fit in our pockets and that they can be remotely accessed, you know, this could be potentially devastating. This could be potentially life-destroying. And yeah. those people were called Hezbollah. <laughs> Um, and they were right. <laughs> That's true. Um, so, but I think, you know, risk and reward. Like, so my, in all seriousness, my best friend's a quadriplegic and he is a losing function as he gets older and because of an appalling uh, uh, operation that went wrong. But um, he would, I guarantee it, he'd say, you know what, I'll take the risk. Mm. 